previously. We got 38 Guthooks restored now. That's I think the most we've ever had at one time. All right, let's see if we get the axe here. First try, love it. Let's do this once and for all, Mac H. Okay. Yep. Did we do it? <laughs> what? Oh my f god. No f way. Oh my god. Mac H, hurry up and get your ass back there. Please don't be gone. Oh my god, it's still there. Oh my god. No way! <laughs> Get the fly f out of here! Yes! Yes! We did it! Oh my god! Yes! There it is. Lost City complete. Here we go. Boom. You can now catch Magpie and Blinks. There we go. Hey! Oh! Rune Square, the first one! Not so fast. Thank you. Fourth magpie. Oh sh! It's this Ruby guy. Damn it. I just got juked. Oh my god, and he's a bot. Don't catch it. Fucking bot! And look at that Ruby bot's back again. Dude, please get out of here, buddy. Guy screwed me over a magpie, man. Were you screaming? Yeah. I was really upset. How do you upset? This guy. I guess another pretty good load here. That's crazy. 15 magpies. All right, here we go. There's the last magpie of the trip. So if you guys notice, I'm using my main. Basically what I found out is since bind only freezes the implants for five seconds, the time it takes to push through the magical wheat is about five seconds. So the implants move, so I really needed entangle. That's why I brought my main there. My main also helps me cover twice the amount of area. I usually set my main up to the north and then the Iron Man to the south, and I can really hit just about every world. I also have been logging into PvP worlds, but you have to kind of be careful with that because there's been a couple of PKers I've seen that are a little bit higher level than me, but still, it's especially with a full inventory of magpies that take a few hours to get, you don't want to lose them. So that puts me at 52 magpies now, which is good. I probably need a hundred or so before I open them. And then also I'm gonna need 55 magic for high elk. I really don't want to low elk all those magpies. That'd be silly. All right, brace yourselves for our potentially our first PK ever on this account. Oh, already failing. That's right. As I figured that was gonna happen. Ooh, magpie. Come on, baby. All right, didn't even need my main for that one. Over 500K in value, so it's gonna be some pretty good alcohols. Now, what I will say is I've been catching about 10 to 15 magpies per hour. And what I've been doing is I've been using the NPC indicator on rune light. Damn, 95 magpies now. So, what that means is it's been highlighting every magpie. It's a really, really good method. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with, with the progress on this. I, I didn't think that I'd be able to catch this many magpies so efficiently, but yeah, so for, for 95, it's taken probably six hours, which isn't too bad. All right, I've been world hopping for like the last 20 minutes. I don't think I'm able to get any more magpies. I'm pretty burnt out doing this right now. And there's just so many people in every world. So we're gonna end the magpies here. I feel like I have a good amount. Let's get a final tally. All right, so moment of truth. So 118 magpies. That's really, really good. 
it's going to be a lot of really good high elk bulls. But the next challenge I face is I'm not even 55 magic yet. So we're looking at like 1800 laws. I just, I don't feel like that's feasible. I don't because 1800 law runes at the shop, I think are like 250 each. Yikes, yeah, certainly not feasible. Okay, so what that really means is I'll be splashing. Here we go. There it is. 52 magic. Holy hell, did that take forever. So now we should be able to use a wizard mind bomb in high elk. So the next thing to do is to open up 117 magpies. All right, here we go. The moment I've been waiting for. 117 magpies. Let's just do this 10 at a time. Ooh, double sinister keys. Interesting. So that's really the only way I could get a sinister key because I can't kill Salar in the Twisted. Obviously, that gives HP, XP. But that's pretty good right there. Hopefully, we get more of that. Two Snapdragons. Oop, there's the dragon dagger. Thank you. That's what we needed. Obviously, I could have bought one of Xanaris, but that just makes it a little bit easier. Don't have to waste the two diamonds anymore, anyway. Ooh. Ooh, couple loops. That's what I needed as well. Because I know I have a couple halves in here. Where were those halves? Oh, they're there. So that's... Pretty much a glory, but I need some crafting levels and I need 68 magic to, to charge it. Man, it's raining daggers now. Two runite bars. Those probably won't be used anytime soon. Couple more runite bars, another snapdragon, a pineapple. Second rune square there. Let's level this off. Okay, another rune square. Quite a few mystic gloves that time. 30 more. Alright, last 10. Couple daggers. Couple loop halves. Another tooth. 9 and 7, damn. Let's take a look. Curious what a price check on this stuff would be. $1.8. Wow. A price check for a bit more than I thought. Alright. Get elking. Alright, 450k. Do we have anything else? I guess I don't really need all 20 of these. Eh, we'll keep them for now. 
What I'd like to do actually is head to Valley. Turn these in. We could get an adamant square, rune plate skirt, or rune plate legs, which would be really good alcohols. Everything else is kind of meh, so let's hope we get one of those. This is what's so fun about an Iron Man. You would never do this in the main game. Wow, 100 coal. I think that's really good. 200 coal. That is really good. Because you need coal for steel bars. Oh my god. It's like they know I need to make cannonballs. Another tooth half. Spinach roll, okay. Okay. Alright, not the best, but not terrible. I'll definitely take the coal and the iron. Oh, we have two more. I didn't even realize this. Let's do these last two. So the full cannon actually sells for 750k, so I'm actually a bit closer than I think. Ooh. Okay. 